Hello, I'm Mackenzie, and you'll be hearing from three teens today, myself, Maya, and Ling. So I'm going to start us off by talking a little bit about RESIST and DCYPB. Um, DCYPB is a youth-led organization that began in January of 2020, and we focus on underage substance abuse and mental health and how we can create positive change within the community relating to those two things. Um, the next organization I'm going to talk about is RESIST. RESIST is a statewide youth advocacy group um, that focuses on the denormalization of tobacco use within the community. Um, and through these two groups, it's been really great to feel like I have a voice and to advocate for something I'm passionate about. Hi, my name is Lane Close. I am a junior at Udall High School. And some of the things that we have been seeing in our schools lately is that teens are increasing the use of vaping products and during school days because they're trying to cope with everything that's been going on from the past year since it was very unusual and now that they were so dependent on it then they're bringing it to school and they can't get through a class period without having to run to the bathroom or outside to take another puff or vape and we're seeing yeah, grades are going downhill and it's really hard for students to cope right now but also they're relying on vapes as their coping method and then parents were buying vapes for their kids because they didn't think it was as harmful and they thought it was uh, just water vapor and didn't have any harmful things in it that could get the teen addicted to it. And then it's really concerning for us seeing the increased numbers of people doing vapes because as you know COVID's going around and the vapes damage the lungs and so if you have damaged lungs and you also have damaged immunity, your immune system is low, COVID uh, can make you really sick and so that's something to think about as we go through like different policies and things like that and then by taking some of these precautions and just letting people know more about what's going on and things like that we can help decrease the amount of students that are using and punishment isn't really fixing anything right now punishment is just like throwing having in school suspension or out of school suspension for kids who are not athletes and this leads there's no intervention for them and so they have nothing that they can go to for help that they might not know of um, and so by changing how that works if a kid gets caught vaping and they mainly do it in the bathrooms there's like sometimes i'll walk into the bathrooms and you can tell someone's been vaping because it smells bad and there's usually like three kids to a stall um, and they're just talking they're not really doing anything and so that's really hard to monitor just because of uh, people can't really stick a camera in there to monitor everything and so it's really hard for students to get caught and then when they do get caught there's nothing no kind of intervention or a class that they have to take about um, vaping and the harmful effects of it and so thinking about that as we make policies is really important hi my name is Maya Patterson and I am a junior at Eudora High School one thing we have found is that across 30 major cities in the U.S., an average of 63% of public schools have been placed within 1,000 feet or two city blocks of tobacco retailers. This is obviously a huge problem that is leading to the increase of teens using tobacco products. Therefore, we need to raise the tobacco tax, which will then lead to a 14.4% decrease of youth smoking. This is what we want to be seeing. I then want to thank you all so much for your time and consideration towards this topic. We will need all hands in to see positive change. Thank you.